I don't know how in your places of worship you get everybody to sit, but... <laughs> and the very shy young man who introduced me. Uh, his and they are a tough act to follow. I offered to do a song of my own, but I need more than a keyboard player. I'd need divine assistance, so I think we're going to not do that. Instead, let me just acknowledge some friends of long standing who have joined us. Uh, Archbishop Dimitrios, who uh, happens to live directly across the street from me on 79th Street, and I have watched him, and you start to really believe when you see him come out and he walks across this double, this four-lane street, traffic going in both directions with his staff. He does not look left, he does not look right. He walks straight across, the traffic stops. Does the Red Sea come to mind? <laughs> Uh, also, Reverend Bernard, Reverend Lim, Rabbi Potasnik, Michael Miller, and Imam Ali, all of whom have been here for a long time and become good friends of mine. It is an honor to stand beside them and all of you, all the religious and cultural leaders across our city. And at this time, I would like to ask some of the distinguished clergy who are here this morning to lead us in prayer. Uh, Bishop Demaz Nicholas Damasio of Brooklyn will offer the first invocation. He will be followed by Reverend T.K. Nakagaki, President of the Buddhist Council of New York, Dr. Uma Mysorekar, President of the Hindu Temple Society of North America, uh, Rabbi Dr. Abraham Unger, Professor and Director of Urban Programs at Wagner College on Staten Island, Sheikh Musa Draman, uh, uh, Chairman of the Islamic Cultural Center, Bishop Nancy Rosario, Pastor at Church of God's Children, and Sadar Giani Bukunda Singh, Head Priest of the Sikh Cultural Society. Let us pray. Lord God, we give you thanks for the past year, especially the past years of the Bloomberg administration. Give us the wisdom necessary to be the spiritual backbone of this great city. We pray remembering the words that Pope Francis recently said, 
No one can demand that religion should be relegated to the inner sanctum of personal life without influence on societal and national life, without concern for the soundness of civil institutions, without a right to offer an opinion on events affecting society. Give us the spirit of cooperation so that with our new mayor, we will continue to be this spiritual backbone. Enable us to work together as religious leaders, creating bonds of respect and unity among us. And we pray that the most vulnerable among us, our children, our aged, our homeless, and all those who are marginalized will be in every way helped by our united efforts. And we ask this in your holy name. Amen. Amen. Good morning. And uh, uh, please join me in uh, silent meditation and prayer. So sit with your back straight and breathe deeply and relax your body and mind. It's time to reflect on the year 2013 and ready ourselves for the next year. Whether the year 2013 is a good one or the bad one, let us simply embrace it with respect and gratitude. May the year 2014 bring happiness and peace to all, free from attachments, from greed, anger, and selfishness. May love and compassion present throughout the coming year and guide us to the world without violence. On the last day of Mayor Bloomberg's service to our city, let us show our deep appreciation for our mayor's great efforts to improve our city and let us wish him the best. And happy new year to you all. And thank you. Arigato. Let us pray. Asatu ma sat gamaya, tamaso ma jyotir gamaya, mrityor ma amritam gamaya. Lead me from unreal to real, lead me from darkness to reality, and lead me from death to immortality. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Let us all play for a, with a universal prayer. O oh, adorable Lord of mercy and love, salutations and prostrations unto thee. Thou art omnipresent, omnipotent, and omniscient. Thou art Satchit Ananda. Thou art the existence, the knowledge, and bliss absolute. Thou art the indweller of all beings. Let us abide in thee forever and ever. While we are about to celebrate the new year, I want to thank our mayor, Mr. Bloomberg, for his great service to this great nation. Our warmest greetings and very special prayers for him so he may continue to guide this great city of ours and also serve this great nation. Thank you. There is a song of David, Lord, who may sojourn in your tent, one who does what is righteous and speaks the truth from the heart. This mayor has led us with integrity. The great city of New York has never flourished more than today. We have been blessed by Mayor Michael Bloomberg's presence among us. The psalmist declares, one who does these things shall never falter. Bismillah. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Praise be to Allah, the cherisher and sustainer of the worlds. Most gracious, most merciful. Master of the day of judgment, thee do we worship, and thine aid we seek. So is the straight way, the way of those whom thou hast bestowed 
thy grace, those whose person is not rough and who not astray. Amen. Mr. Mayor, you know, from our heart, we're here to pray for you, to pray for your family and for your administration. Because under your leadership, Mr. Mayor, the city is safer, cleaner, nicer, healthier, and friendlier. Mr. Mayor, under your leadership, you did not fail any community in the city, especially communities that I personally am a member of and partially represent. From the High Bridge Fight, the Ground Zero Mask, our continued religious freedom, immigrant rights, empowering young fathers to giving livery cab drivers economic opportunity. Mr. Mayor, the city, soon the nation, will forever benefit from your generosity, boldness, and altruism. We say, therefore, thank you, thank you, and thank you for all your contributions to, great, to this great city. God bless you, and God bless your administration. Good morning, Honorable Mayor Bloomberg, distinguished guests and clergy. As we come to the end of 2013, we offer a prayer for the 108th Mayor of New York City, who for 12 years watched over this city during pleasant times and during turbulent times, and made tough decisions, as many other leaders have done through the ages, to preserve the peace and blessings of our city. The scriptures have given us a mandate to pray for those that are in authority over us. We continue our prayer for this city and our leaders, past, present, and future. We pray in the name of the Lord our God that he will give wisdom and knowledge so that we may become one city in the peace of the Almighty God. May our children and our seniors be blessed with health and knowledge. We know that you, Lord, will hear our prayer, and in your mercy, you will give us all the blessings that we need. Let there be peace in our communities, and let there be love in our homes. May God grant us the unity of the families in this great city of New York. May the Lord continue to bless us and our outgoing mayor, Mayor Bloomberg, and his staff. And on a final note, Honorable Mayor, I have two words for you that I can now freely say. You rock. <laughs> Good morning. Ik wankar satnam karta purk nirpao nirvair akal murat ajuni saip hangur prasad akal purk vai guru abjide charnavaj ardas san dohiyar tera jobatit horea hai san dohiyar chodan aria hai oswe smuche sarbata palakarna जिस कंट्री ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਉਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੁੱਖ ਵਰਤਾਵਣਾ ਖੁਸ਼ੀਆਂ ਵਰਤਾਉਣੀਆਂ ਜਗਤ ਜਲੰਦਾ ਰੱਖ ਲੈ ਆਪਣੀ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਤਹਾਰ ਜਿਤ ਦਵਾਰ ਉਬਰੈ ਤਿਤੈ ਲਿਹੋ ਉਬਾਰ ਗੋਡ ਬਲੈਸ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਹੈਪੀ ਨਿਊ ਇਅਰ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਗੁੱਡ ਮਾਰਨਿੰਗ ਅਦਾਬ ਸ਼ਲੋਮ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਦ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟਰ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਟਰੂਥ ਐਂਡ ਵੈਨ ਵੀ ਗੈਟ ਟੁਗੇਦਰ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਲੁਕਿੰਗ ਐਟ ਈਚ ਅਦਰ ਇਰਰਸਪੈਕਟਿਵ ਆਫ ਆਵਰ ਫੇਥ ਕੈਸਟ ਕਲਰ ਕ੍ਰੀਡ ਐਂਡ ਓਰੀਐਂਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੀ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟਡ ਅਸ ਟੂ ਮੇਕ ਥਿਸ ਪਲੇਸ a better place for the next generation and that's what we pray for last year after the sandy when we got together we prayed here and we have done much better after that and yes on the closing note tek gurdwara 
Honorable Mayor was there. Wisconsin shooting took place last year. Honorable Mayor was there. The conviction, the beliefs of this city, this beautiful city and place, we all share, and we got to thank him for giving us that opportunity, and wish you all the best on your next journey, sir. Thank you. Well, thank you all for your prayers and for joining us in this wonderful tradition. Um, as you may know, I've been mayor now for 11 years, 364 days, and about nine hours, but who's counting? Uh, this is my 12th year in office, and this is our 13th interfaith breakfast. Uh, we started this event at the end of 2001, the day before I was first sworn in as mayor, and not long after the terrible 9-11 attacks. At the time, New Yorkers were recovering both physically and spiritually from the darkest day in our history. And together then we talked about rebuilding New York. And thanks to the work of so many people, including all of you in this room, I think it's fair to say that we've succeeded in truly spectacular fashion. Today we are stronger than we've ever been, certainly in Lower Manhattan, where we rebuilt the World Trade Center along with new parks and schools. But we're also stronger in communities across all five boroughs, and our streets are safer than ever, too. And I wanted to thank all of you for your leadership and the support that you've given our administration over the years, whether it was working with the NYPD to help save lives or working with our Department of Education to improve our schools or standing with us in Washington to push for a comprehensive immigration reform that our country so desperately needs or standing with us in Lower Manhattan to protect religious freedom when it was threatened. You really have made an incredible difference in the future of our city. I've always been envious of you because you work at the real level where the real problems are. Uh, at my level, you talk about them, you look at the grand scheme, you look at averages, you have to deal with big numbers. Big numbers are easy to deal with. It's much tougher when you deal one-on-one, -on -one looking a person in the, right in the eye who has a real problem, and your job is to really help them, to give them some advice, to give them some guidance, to give them some a conviction in their own abilities to stand strong and solve their own problems and to guide them in their interest in religion. Um, the issues that we work together on, I think, reflect the common values that bind us together as New Yorkers, freedom for all, opportunity for all, and compassion for all. And those values have made New York a city of hope, a city that embodies the aspirations of the community of nations. Perhaps the world's most famous city dweller, Pope Francis, recently marveled at the importance of cities. The Pope wrote, quote, we need to look at our cities with a contemplative gaze, a gaze of faith which sees God dwelling in their homes, in their streets and squares. The Pope continued, God's presence accompanies the sincere efforts of individuals and groups to find encouragement and meaning in their lives. He dwells among them, fostering community, fraternity, and the desire for goodness, truth, and justice. We see that across our city. And the fact that a Jewish kid can quote the Pope in a secular building built by Protestants in front of Hindu, Muslim, and Sikh leaders really, I think, says all you need to know about New York City. Our diversity is also our essential strength. So it has always been, and so it must always be. If we remember that, and if we always have the courage to stand up for our values, we have every reason to be optimistic about the future. And we can certainly see that this morning in the young people that are with us. Um, there are a whole bunch of senior people from our administration who are here. I tried to check them off as, uh, you can come on up. Uh, as they came in. So let me just read to the names because um, 
you had applause for me, but they're really for these people and for the 290,000 city employees who work to make life better for all of us. Uh, commissioners Joseph Bruno, Salvador Cassano, Robert Doerr, John Doherty, Patricia Gatling, uh, Deputy Mayor Linda Gibbs, Deputy Mayor Patty Harris, uh, Commissioner Yolanda Jimenez, uh, Commissioner Ray Kelly, uh, my press secretary Mark Lavonia, who swears I didn't say what I said I didn't say. <laughs> Uh, Kate Levin, Commissioner, Heda Mahaltis, who has uh, brought the entire Greek community here and seated them right up front, although you do have one Jesuit I see at the table. Uh, Commissioner Jeannie Mulgrave, Glenn Newman, Dora Schreiro, Fatima Shama, our Immigrant Affairs Commissioner, who has just been a uh, guidance for all of us. Uh, Bob Tierney, my sister Marjorie Tiven, who has put up with me for 70 odd years. I didn't say how old you were, I just said you put up with me for seven years. <laughs> Commissioner Veronica White and Edna Wells Handy. Uh, our program will conclude with another performance by the Broadway Youth Ensemble. And uh, let me also thank New York Public Library President Tony Marks and Paul LeClaire, um, the former president. And everyone at the New York Public Library for their hospitality over the years, and many thanks to the Hot Bread Kitchen for the special centerpieces and the great performance catering for again generously donating this breakfast, food, and drink. And thank you all for being here. Uh, serving as mayor, working alongside you for the betterment of New York City has really been the greatest privilege of my life. It's something that I can do for my family, my daughters, and my new grandson. And um, I hope that if I have one prayer, it is that we don't stop seeing each other uh, going forward. I will be living here, I hope for a long time, uh, at least for the rest of my life. I hope that's a long time. Uh, and I really am appreciative in many ways of what you do and envious in many ways of uh, your opportunities. Uh, I've had 12 years uh, to do some things, uh, thrilled to have been doing them. Think that this administration and all of the people that work for the city uh, did a great job, and we are leaving to the next administration a great hand to play. And I uh, think that the best days for New York City are still to come, and uh, that uh, we should all have a smile on our face. It's been a good 12 years. It's been a good uh, 2013, and I think 2014 promises to be even better. So uh, thank you all for everything, and God bless. Ready? Ça fait plaisir d'être là aujourd'hui avec euh, cette chaîne ivoirienne, je dirais africaine, qui fait beaucoup pour la culture euh, et les événements euh, ici au, à New York. Nous sommes là ce matin, c'est le 31 décembre, pour cette cérémonie avec le maire euh, Bloomberg. Donc je voudrais dire euh, merci à M. Bamba pour cette euh, initiative d'être venu pour couvrir cet événement. Et je voudrais profiter de ce micro pour souhaiter euh, une année pleine de bonheur, pleine de prospérité à toute la Côte d'Ivoire entière, à tous les Africains euh, qui vivent ici à, à New York. Que la paix soit avec vous, euh, meilleure santé et beaucoup de bonheur. Uh, you want people, uh, there's a lot of numbers, a lot of successes and some failures as well. 
but being willing to stand up and, and trying to make a difference. And I keep urging everybody to try to devote some of their time, their money, their counsel to uh, helping other people. It's been a very rewarding 12 years. I'll look back on it for the rest of my life. And I'll be able to say to my kids, uh, your father tried to do something to make your life and your children's better. Mayor, what are you going to miss? Mayor, what are you going to miss? Great the ride that uh, was up in Washington Square Park uh, and many other events going on throughout the city. All indications that we have a better boy. It's been great. Thank you, Richmond. Thank, Thank you for everything. Thanks a lot. Thank you for everything. Uh, uh, déjà meilleur vu. Uh, vous êtes. Uh, Vous êtes venu à cette cérémonie euh, ce matin, euh, quel sens Ah bon, on était venu pour souhaiter, Inch'Allah, les, les vœux de nouvel an à tout le monde, à tous les New Yorkais, musulmans, chrétiens, juifs, euh, sikhs, hindous, euh, etc. Et c'est pour cela qu'on est là, et c'est ça qui fait la force de New York. Parce que quand tu vois la salle, tout le monde est là, les juifs sont là, les musulmans sont là, les chrétiens sont là et les sikhs sont là. Tout le monde est là. Voilà. Alors Imam, c'est l'année nouvelle, un vœu pour toute la Côte d'Ivoire, pour tous les Ivoiriens. Ah, on demande à Dieu que l'année 2014 nous apporte le bonheur d'unité, l'harmonie, la réconciliation au sein des Ivoiriens, de la diaspora et du pays. Parce que nous avons besoin de l'harmonie, on a besoin de l'amour, on a besoin de se réconcilier. Pour se réconcilier, il faut se pardonner. Pour se pardonner, il faut demander le pardon du Seigneur lui-même à Allah, pour qu'il nous pardonne nous tous. Donc on souhaite, on souhaite que l'année 2014 nous apporte le bonheur, l'union, prospérité, longévité pour tout le monde, pour tout le monde et l'Afrique entière. Je vous remercie. Merci beaucoup. Okay. So I've Television wants to interview you. What, what? Uh, we hope that uh, their success continues in the new year. Thank you. Okay. <laughs>